Good morning, everyone. I wish I was in bed right now, but we got more important things to do today, and that is a day in life with the Galaxy S23. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Fenson, and I'm a computer engineering student in Canada. But anyways, today we're gonna put the Galaxy S23 to the test by testing its performance, its features, its camera, and most importantly, the battery life because that was a major disappointment last year. Today's like day number six of me using the phone so far, and it's actually quite promising. So, uh, you know, grab your drinks, grab your snacks, and let's get this day started. Well, that sucks. I usually wake up early in the mornings now so I can work out early instead of late at night so I can actually sleep early. But the one day I'm filling my day in life, they actually lock the gym. <sighs> Unbelievable. But uh, I guess we'll work out at night instead then. Ah, the morning routine has been complete. Unfortunately for me, I can't eat breakfast or have a latte because I am trying to lose weight by intermittent fasting, meaning that I can only eat between like an eight hour period from like two to 10. But anyways, let's talk about the phone. So there aren't many hardware or exterior changes this year, but the big major one that's important is the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip and the vapor cooling chamber that comes with the phone. This is really important because last year, my S22, I had the Snapdragon variant, by the way. Last year, my S22 had horrendous and terrible battery life not to mention it kept on overheating so like uh, if you watch my s22 day in life vlog from last year i actually had to charge that phone like three to four times so that was pretty insane but um hopefully today will be a lot better and hopefully you guys will be able to see that as well but anyways i got like an hour before class so um let's get some productivity done before we go out All right, luckily it's not too cold outside today, but while it's still bright outside, I do want to point out the excellent 1750 nit screen on the S23. So I don't know how well this will translate on camera, but look at that, it's completely readable. It's actually brighter than it actually looks on the camera. And if you compare it to the Pixel 7, you will notice a major difference. And that's definitely one of the standout features about this excellent display. Anyways, I chose a very chill day to do this day in life video on because uh, otherwise you'd be watching me go to class for the entire day thanks to my really busy engineering schedule. But uh, I'm gonna be late because it takes a lot longer to film than I expected. So uh, let's run.
All right, I'm finally done my first class of the day, but uh, oh my God, I haven't vlogged in so long that it's so awkward to be like filming in public because like everyone on the streets and like in class is like staring at me, but uh, I gotta do what I gotta do for the channel, man. But uh, anyways, I still have like an hour before my next class, so I really gotta study and like catch up on that course because I have no idea what I'm doing at all. I'm like absolutely so screwed for it. All right, I just realized we haven't done a battery test for the S23 yet, so uh, let's check on it. All right, so it says that we've used the phone for four and a half hours now, and we had a total screen on time of an hour and 15 minutes. And right now, our battery percentage is sitting at 84%, which is actually quite good. Although I have been just scrolling social media in class, so haven't been really doing anything intense or heavy yet. But uh, we'll see about that, and uh, let me get studying. All right, it is 1.30 p.m. right now, and I finally finished all my classes for the day. I had absolutely no idea what was happening in that class, by the way. <laughs> I did use my phone quite a bit, though, so uh, let's check on the battery life again. And it looks like we have used the phone for seven hours now with two and a half hours of screen on time, and we're still sitting at 69%. Look at that, that is amazing. All right, and because I don't have any more classes left in a day, I think this is the perfect opportunity to test out the new cameras on the S23. So uh, starting off with this, this is how the video quality looks like on a mirrorless camera, specifically my Fujifilm X-T3. All right, as we all know, iPhone is known to have the best video footage out of all the cameras, so uh, we'll use this as a control. This is the video quality from the Pixel 7, which I think is only okay. And also, I'm using the rear cameras for all these uh, video comparisons I'm showing, by the way. And finally, this is the footage from the S23 at 4K30, and uh, Samsung is generally known to have the best video on the Android side of things. Also, one new feature on the new S23 series is now the ability to shoot up to 8K 30 frames per second instead of the old 24 frames per second. These phones are also supposed to have newer mics, so uh, let me know how they sound below. And finally, the front-facing sensors, which is super important if you're interested in any sort of vlogging. And uh, first up, this is the iPhone 14 Pro. Next up, this is the selfie camera of the Pixel 7. And I think one of the weaker points of the Pixel is actually the selfie camera. So uh, I don't expect this to look too good, but uh, who knows, I don't know. <laughs> and last but not least, this is the selfie footage coming from the S23, which does house the new 12 megapixel selfie sensor. So uh, hopefully we do see some nice improvements over here. 
All right, that's enough about videos. I have to stop by the mall today to uh, deposit some stuff at the bank. And while we're on our way there, we can take some camera samples of the S23, which by the way, unfortunately, there were no hardware changes at all to any of the three cameras, which is quite disappointing. But uh, yeah, let's get going. I finally arrived in the mall and uh, thankfully I can eat now because I'm starving so much. Ah, intermittent fasting kind of sucks, but uh, you know what? It's good to lose weight. I think I'm gonna go with Jimmy the Green today. Hello. Uh, may I have a roast chicken meal, please? Uh, from here, please. Uh, yes, please. All right, it's finally time to dig in, and I'm telling you, man, the best mall food court restaurant is definitely Jimmy the Greek. Like, this is absolute perfection, and it's so delicious. But, uh, oh yeah, this is Director's View, which is a feature on the Samsung Galaxy phones. All right, I'm finally done eating, so I'm not starving anymore. Although I am still like a little sleepy because I just ate a lot of carbs. But anyways, the game plan for the rest of the afternoon is I have to go to BMO to deposit some checks and cash from like, you know, affiliate earnings and like stuff products I sold. And then I have to go to Sephora to pick something up because I'm running out of a product. And then finally, I have to go to Starbucks to, uh, you know, get some work done because I'm still really busy for today. But obviously this isn't my usual day in life. I just had to, you know, like save some, save like my checks and stuff for the day in life to make it more interesting, you know? All right, I just got out of Starbucks and I actually got quite a bit of work done. I was editing so much that I didn't even realize that it's past 6.30, so uh, it's time to go. But uh, also, while I was leaving, guess what I found? Look at that, I found Jin's album, Jin from BTS. He's actually my favorite member from BTS and unfortunately, he's in the military right now. But look, I found a physical copy of his single before he left and uh, I've never bought a physical copy before, so I think I'm just gonna do that today. I also found one of their albums over here, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna get that today because it's too expensive. And I also found a huge Hamilton album, but this one's like 150 bucks, so uh, I think I'm just gonna stick with that for now. But I'm so excited, oh my god. I just got my first physical album ever. But uh, anyways, well, we got one more stop to go before I go home tonight, and that is Loblaws because I wanna get some groceries to make some dinner. All right, and before we go, let's do one final battery check. So it looks like we've used the phone for almost 13 hours with four hours and eight minutes of screen on time, and we're still at 31%. Like, I just can't kill this phone. I tried to use it as much as possible today. 
So uh, you know what? The plan is I'm going to film the whole way home using this phone only, and let's see how much the camera takes up the battery. All right, we have now switched to the rear camera of the S23, and uh, we're at 30% right now. So uh, let's see how badly the phone drains by the time I get home. All right, taking a look at the video I just shot coming out of the mall, I think it's pretty clear that the S23 trails way behind the iPhone, especially when it comes to you know video quality and details, but I'm pretty sure the S23 Ultra can match pretty closely to the iPhone 14 Pros. But anyways, I do have to give it good points for the stabilization because it looked really, really good. And also, I just realized it's night right now, so I think it's a good time to test out the night video and photos and see if Samsung really did improve with their so-called nightography features. All right, I'm back in the mall because it is way too cold outside and there's still like half an hour until the bus comes. But another feature I just saw in the phone is that if you have Bluetooth earbuds connected and I have the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro right now, you can actually record audio in 360. So uh, I wonder how this sounds. Can you like actually hear 360? If I like snap my fingers right, left. Hmm. Hopefully it sounds good. Let me know down below. And while we're waiting for the bus, I can't believe I forgot to do this earlier, but we gotta give a massive shout out to all my supportive people on Twitter that all said hi. Everyone is so kind, and honestly, thank you guys so much for the support. It's been an incredible journey so far, and this year will only get bigger. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss the bus! It's coming in like one minute! Ah! Oh damn, I think I missed the bus. I think I came early. Ah, I have to wait another half an hour for the next bus in the cold and it's raining too. Ah, yikes. All right, so while waiting for the bus, unfortunately, the S23 battery has finally died as we are down to our last 1%. And as you can see, we've used this phone for 14 hours and 13 minutes today with a total screen on time of five hours. And considering that I did use the camera a lot today, this is absolutely incredible that it managed to last me through the entire day. Like, as I said, last year when I did my S22 vlog, I had to charge that phone like three to four times throughout the entire day. And uh, yeah, I'm really impressed. And um, if you don't use the camera throughout the past week, I've gone in around six to seven hours of screen on time, which is honestly on par or exceeds my Pixel 7 or my iPhone 14 Pro. So I'm already really happy about that. But I uh, guess I'll see you guys at home then. Thank you. 
All right, I'm finally home and I just took some time to unpack because there was a lot of stuff in my backpack and my back is like absolutely broken right now. But anyways, I'm starving, we got fresh groceries, so uh, let's go cook up a delicious meal. And on tonight's menu, I'm gonna cook some delicious wild rice mushroom stew, which is basically like a quicker version of risotto that tastes just as good. And also we're gonna make some grilled shrimp salad because uh, that's really yummy as well. So uh, let's get cooking. All right, I finally finished cooking and eating. And I'm so sorry if the end of the vlog was so rushed because when I got home, I got caught up with something, which meant that I had to cook and eat very late. And it's like two in the morning right now and I have class at eight in the morning. And I still gotta, you know, clean the kitchen. I gotta take a shower. I gotta do my nighttime routine and all that, which is why I decided to add my vlog early right over here. But anyways, as you've seen throughout the entire day, the S23 was honestly amazing. So like, even though there was no major external changes, except for like, you know, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and the vapor cooling chamber, that pretty much fixed all the issues I had with the S22. As you, as you saw today, the battery life lasted pretty much the entire day all the way till the end, which was phenomenal, even with camera heavy camera usage. And uh, also, when I was shooting a lot of video today, I felt that there was no overheating of the phone at all, and it never even got warm to the touch, which is pretty incredible. And because of all these fixed issues, I can confidently recommend this phone to anyone who's looking for a smaller compact flagship phone because it's honestly just great and I don't really have any complaints at the moment, although I will dig a little deeper in my full review. But uh, anyways, if you stayed all the way till the end, thank you so much for watching and if you want to help a young man like me reach his dreams of being a YouTuber, then kindly smash that like and subscribe button and also check out some of my other content on the channel. But anyways, good night, I'm really tired, and I'll see you guys in the next one.